So I'm on YouTube, I see a shitload of videos by mostly females talking about how to get a man and this, that, and other. listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. I'm going to tell you from a male's perspective or point of view on how to keep a man, ladies. I'm going to give you a few rules, okay? Follow these rules and you'll keep your man or you'll get yourself a man. Listen to me. Rule number one, don't listen to your single ass fucking girlfriends. Why are you listening to another single woman on how to keep a man? Don't listen to no divorced women. Don't listen to women. You should talk to men, actually, and see what they like, actually. First of all, how is a woman going to tell you how to keep a man? If she hasn't been in a relationship for a long per enough period of time, she's sitting up there and she's telling you, oh, girl, you need to get rid of him. Stop taking advice from your single-ass lonely girlfriends because they're going home to a bucket of ice cream and some home videos also. Okay? That's rule number one. Rule number two, ladies, start complimenting your men. I've been in relationships with females, or I've been around females who never gave me a compliment once. Then when it's broken up, I say, you know, you never ever even told me I look nice. Well, you know you look nice. I don't know shit. Tell me, motherfucker. And let me tell you why. Because men are the approachers. Do you know how hard it is to have to approach a woman, get turned down, then find the balls? To have to approach the, another woman right after you get, you, you don't understand how hard it is for men on the real tip. Men, it's very difficult for men to um, go through their day and have to actually find the balls, to, to find the guts to talk to a woman, maybe get turned down. Even if a man can be the most attractive thing in a, with a golden dick. And sometimes girls will just turn down because they had a bad day. But that guy got to find his ego, pick it back up, and then go back out and approach another woman. It's hard for us. And we, we, we compliment women all the time. And a lot of times, women don't compliment their men. So it's okay to sometimes tell a man he looks nice or give him a compliment and make him feel good about himself. It's all right, ladies. It's all right. That's rule number two. Compliment your fucking man. Rule number three. Don't try to change a man. You know, women come into a man's life and then you try to change him. Girl, I'm going to change him. You're not going to change him. After a, 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 an adult, man or female, hit the age of like 22, it's very difficult and almost impossible to change them. If they have that many fucking issues, they're obviously not the person for you. There's six billion people in this world. Maybe someone else is the person for you. Stop trying to change that man. You know, it's okay to try to, you know, compromise and, and, and get them to work with you. But don't try to change them. A lot of women are trying to change these men. That's a mistake. Rule number three. Don't try to change your man. Rule number four. Know what your man likes. See, it's, this is the guy's fault. Fellas, this is your fucking fault. You see, in the beginning, a guy is so infatuated and so in love with a girl that he kind of compromises a little too much and he's just like kind of dumbs down on the shit that he really likes to try to get the relationship to work. But ladies, let me tell you a secret. Guys like a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? So get to know what they really like. Or they'll be, or, or you're going to have some issues. So get to know. If he likes fucking football and you hate football, it's okay. It's only an hour a week. Join his fucking fantasy football team or whatever and learn that shit. It's okay. Compromise. You have to. Know his likes. Rule number four. Rule number five. Curb your fucking jealousy. Ladies, you have to understand. Women are more emotional and guys are more physical. For some reason, our eyes tend to attract the contour of a woman's figure. So if a guy cuts his eye a little bit, it's okay. You're going home with him. He just took a look. Just like if a guy, if some, if you know, I, I don't want to be with a woman that no one looks at. You know, because I'm not a jealous man. I, I want an attractive woman. And you would want to be an attractive woman, right? You know, so if a guy, you know, sometimes, again, as long as he's not really disrespectful with it, like, mm, or nothing like that, it's cool. If his eyes glance on slap, I've been with this one girl, and, you know, it, these fine-ass women walking into a nightclub together, they dressed their nicest or whatever, and I glanced over, and she gave me this attitude. I glanced. It's not a problem. Ladies, curve your jealousy. Stop being jealous so much, you know. Show that you have a little bit of confidence. Guys like that, you know. It's okay. It's okay. Curve your jealousy. Rule number six, keep your, keep your body right. I know there's some people who have issues with weight, or there's some women who are too thin, and there's some people who may have problems with certain parts of their body. And try to eat healthy and just stay, stay looking nice. You know, if you know men are physical, like we just discussed, then keep, you know, this is self-explanatory, keep yourself looking right. Fellas, keep yourself looking good for the girls too. But ladies, definitely keep yourself up. You know, a lot of times, you ladies, you slip a little bit when you fall into a relationship. I've seen it happen so many times, not just discussing me. With a lot of my boys, you know, they get into a relationship and ladies, they feel like they don't have to do certain things anymore. But, you know, just keep yourself together. It's all right. It's 168 hours in a week. We only ask you to work out for four, okay? You know, it's, it's hard. It is tough. 
but keep it right for your man, you know? Rule number seven, stay fresh. Now, this goes with rule number six. Ladies, you know, I've seen sometimes that you grow a little bit of extra hair and shit under there, or you don't shave down there and, and stuff. Sometimes hygiene is, is very important. And staying fresh also has to deal with, you know, your clothes. Buy some fresh undies. Go to Victoria's Secret and keep it fresh every once in a while. When he goes to bed, he wants to be, he wants to be able to see you in some, some nice new panties, you know, don't wear that old nasty grandma bloomers and shit, that shit is fucking nasty, you know, keep your eyebrows done and your hair up, you know, just because you're in a relationship don't mean you gotta wear your fucking lady do-rag, your scarf and your PJs and shit, you know, keep yourself looking nice, stay fresh, keep your breath fresh, brush your fucking teeth, I, I know I sound like a parent, but, parent, but this shit is important, okay? Number eight, be spontaneous, guys love this shit, I'm telling you, trust me, and when I say be spontaneous, I don't mean popping up and shit, don't fucking pop up, don't fucking pop up, being spontaneous is different, just, just every once in a while just surprising them and doing just some wild shit, ladies you think you like that shit, guys love that shit, alright, that's self explanatory, use your imagination, rule number nine, this is so fucking important, don't talk him to death, the one of the worst things you can do is just be in a motherfucker's ear like this, and you know what I mean, cause you see your girlfriends do it, I'm not even gonna open my eyes on number 9, y'all just talk too fucking much sometimes, sometimes it's okay just to shut the fuck up ladies, you talk too much, okay, okay. Number 10, a lot of guys won't admit to this shit, now I'ma tell you cause I'm a single man and I'm confident enough to tell you, I'm speaking for the men, you gotta be sexually open ladies, huh? Yeah, I'm going to tell you, for real. Guys, you got, guys have some crazy fetishes and fantasies and shit that they talk about with their boys at, at games, locker rooms, college, wherever they at. Guys be imagining some shit. And if you're not open to even give it a shot. And, you know, sometimes it's okay to talk to him because sometimes you'll talk to your man and you'll say, do you like that, baby? And he'll say, nah. Because he's scared to tell you because he don't want you to think he's a fucking weirdo. But I'm telling you, guys be like some wild shit. And it's okay to try some shit. It's your fucking man. Satisfy him sexually. Or you're going to find him with some old skank. And you're going to say, oh my God. Girl, he was with this bitch and she wasn't even cute. It wasn't about her being cute. It's because she was able to go that extra mile and do that shit. That he knew that you at your ass wouldn't do. Okay? Rule number 11, I'm going to leave it at this. You can't give him a hard time. You have to be supportive. Every man has a fucking dream. Whatever it is. You chose to deal with this guy, so you have to support his dream. Even if it sounds stupid and idiotic, let him fail on his own. Support him. As long as he's not, you know, he's, he's working and he got his career. Because I've seen it happen so many times. A guy could be a dreamer to be a fucking, a fucking, I don't know, an astronaut, a rapper. I don't give a fuck what he wants to be. Whatever it is, just support him. It might sound crazy to you. You might say, oh my God, he's so horrible, he's not going to make it. But just support him, but girl. As long as he's working and he's paying his bills, you know, let him do his favorite pastime. Support his shit. You have to support your man. A lot of women, you're not supporting your man. You're giving him hard fucking time to get home from work and you're all up in his ear. Don't that talk shit. Support your dude or he's going to fucking leave you for one, some, some girl who actually listens to the shit he has to say. Some girl who actually does the shit that sexually he wants to do. And some girl who doesn't talk a fucking hole in his head. I'm telling you. Listen to me. Support your fucking man. All right? Number 12. I said I do 12. Listen. Everyone has their specialty. Guys and girls. Ladies, don't force a guy to do something that he doesn't want to do. Like, everyone has their specialty, like I said. For instance, I make videos and shit. And I don't like when a girl comes to me and says shit like, well, you need to learn how to cook. I'm not coming to your funky ass saying you need to learn how to edit amazing videos. I'm not coming to you saying you need to know how to give great fucking tutorials or you need to know how to get you to train me. If, if, if... If a relationship is supposed to be comprised of things, and it's okay to teach somebody something and balance things, but when you start pushing certain shit in someone's face saying they have to be better at this, well, you need to do laundry better. No, I don't. I really don't because I have a thousand specialties that I can do that I can say that you can't do. So don't start c comparing, ladies. A, a lot of girls do that. They say, well, I'm not doing this. Hm, fuck that. You know, but you don't, you know, I see it happen a lot. And this, this goes both ways. You know, it goes with guys and girls. It's not just for the ladies. That's for fellas, too. So, I'm out now. Daystorm TV!